time to take care of unfinished business. Mars. The checks in the mail, baby! Todd McFarlane one of the seven artists that founded Image Comics, creator of the character Spawn and co-creator of the character known as Venom, is also well known for leaning heavy into the spider side of Spider-Man when illustrating the character. I mention this because he is the inspiration behind the sketch we are doing today. And whilst I sketch, I also want to talk about diligence. Diligence, steady, earnest, and energetic effort, or devoted and painstaking work and application to accomplish an undertaking. According to Miriam Webster, the idea is to give extra attention to detail through meticulous planning and execution. The ultimate objective is perfection, yet this seems an unobtainable goal. But the closer you come to it, the more you'll realize the importance of the pursuit and progression. Put simply, it's about the journey, as it is about the destination. For if you don't know where you are going, any road will get you there. As a novice artist, the advice I receive most would be, just draw. And keep doing that until you eventually get good at it. Some of you who have studied art might be able to attest to this. This is definitely solid advice, as doing something over and over again will eventually lead to development. Yet, this could also lead to stagnation, or worse yet, a complete halt. To prevent this from happening, the solution would be diligence. First, you must find every flaw in the art you are creating. If you struggle with this, you can ask someone to spot the flaws for you, preferably a peer in the same field. Once all weak points are viewed, you should tackle each one, one at a time. And once you feel you have surpassed each of those individual flaws, repeat the pattern. Doing this should lead to progression much quicker than just drawing for drawing's sake. So, I've inked this sketch a bit, and yet I am still unsatisfied. So I moved on to using colouring pencils to give it a bit more of a flair. This sketch took me about 3 hours, from blank paper to coloured illustration. And there are a couple of things I would have done differently looking back, but... I can't say I'm disappointed in this piece. Got a visitor. Visitor? Eddie Brock? Yeah. Do I know you? Don't you recognize us? Eddie? How about now? So this video was actually supposed to be about this Venom I painted a while back. I was looking back and there were a couple of things that just irked me. For instance, how did I forget to add the white patches to Venom's hands? This is quite perplexing as I grew up with the characters and I've drawn them on multiple occasion and I knew that this detail belonged there but, for some unbeknownst reason, I just didn't add them. Bringing me back to the topic of diligence. This small detail is the entire reason I wanted to discuss this topic. 
you could probably class this in perfectionism, but it's not OCD levels, if you know what I mean. I think this is done more so out of respect. Respect for your craft, respect for the artist that came before, and respect for the character. I did end up tweaking a few other things as well, all done according to the Spider-Man animated series from 1994. This does bring up something else, being a quote from Leonardo. This quote goes as follows, Art is never really finished, only abandoned. This might not ring true in all circumstances, but it's especially true here with this example. I truly hope that you could take something from this. So I was aiming for a couple of birds with stone in hand for this video. There was the inspiration of Todd McFarland alongside the topic of diligence and this is also the start of a new series I'm kicking off named Fan Art Fridays and it's exactly what it sounds like on Fridays I will be doing fan art. The idea behind this exercise would be learning so I'll be looking at comic book illustrators and manga artists and so on and so forth and trying to teach to a certain extent whatever I pick up from them. If you have any character that you'd like to see me draw or paint uh, let me know down below. It might not be every Friday but it will most definitely be on Fridays. If you've gotten this far into the video well there's something I'd like to show you. This was one of my first Spider-Man drawings. I don't know how long ago this was but it was some years back. I might have been seven or eight when I did that first one and as you can see I just kept doing it over and over again. Most of these are from 2020 and obviously I've progressed since then and I'm still not at the skill level I'd like to be at but this goes to show that Rome wasn't built in a day as they say. With that being said, like and subscribe or I'll haunt you in your dreams. But the funny thing is, the thing that, that, that still amuses me to this day, which is why you got to keep reinventing yourself and don't get complacent, is that as soon as you show them you can do it another way, and that, and that their way isn't necessarily wrong, it's just that there's another way to get to the party. You know, there's ten different routes to the party. You don't have to keep going down Main Street and turning left at Jones. Is it, we're going to take a different way. Then once you go, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Once you do it, once you have the fortitude to get past all that and do it, and it is successful, so there's a bunch of hurdles you got to get over, then they go, oh, 